guys, this is Amy Lee 33 and welcome back to another episode inside of Amy Lee's Land of Love. Hope everyone's had a lovely week and a wonderful weekend. It's not too long till it's Christmas, can you believe that this year is literally just flying by? It's insane! But anyway, let's start the episode as we always do and say a big hello to my Minecraft family. We will start with... who's up there? Who's up there? Who's... oh it's Bert! Hey Bert! Let's go say hello to Big Bert! Bert, where are you there? There you are! Hello, Bert! How are you doing, darling? He's staring out the windows today. He's taking a break from the boring old blocks. Um, um, they're not boring. I'm sorry, Bert. I didn't mean to insult you there. They're, they're lovely blocks, aren't they? Look at them. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stare at some just for you, Bert. Not boring at all. I love it. I just can't even. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, where's Bertha at? Big Bertha! Where are you, Iron Goose? Oh my goodness, Salem! I thought that was like a googly, that little bit of leaf. I look like a green zombie. Um, Bertha, where are you hanging out at, Bertha? Are you in your room? You guys never seem to be in your room. Could be this time, no, but I can see some mischief has been, like, happening in this room. I wonder who that could be. Anyone can guess? Put it down below who you guessed that could be. Um, but Bertha, there you are! Hello, darling! Bertha, I'm behind you, darling! Now, you see what she's doing? She's looking for my voice, because her nose is so big, she can't see me. So she's looking around for me. Bertha, I'm behind you! Bertha, darling, look behind you. I'm right here, now I'm in front of you. Look down! Look down your big nose, Bertha! There you go! Now you can see me! I love you, Bertha. I just can't hear you, Ben. Anyway, we do need to go on to today's episode. We've got a cutie episode planned today. Uh, excuse me, Mittens! What are you doing out? I put you guys all in your room earlier so you wouldn't cause any mischief. Mittens, are you opening doors now? How did you get out, Mittens? Don't look at me like that and give me the innocent eyes. I invented the innocent eyes. Naughty mittens. Does that mean Mr. Frost and Blizzard are out too? Or are they being good golems? Let me go check. The door should be closed. It is closed! Hello, Mr. Fr- Oh, okay. Well, if, his, if mittens is out, you might as well come out. Where's Blizzard? Blizzard, come on then. All this mischief, I just can't even. Anyway, I guess we should get ourselves a doggy today. Hello, my little hound dogs. How are you? And Saturn. Sitting there in the corner with your beautiful green eyes. I just can't even. She's so cute. Isn't she cute? I love her. Anyway, so, should we play the... Oh, hello, Mittens. <laughs> How are you, Mittens? You want to go outside, Mittens? Maybe another day. Maybe we can all, like, take a vacation somewhere and I can show you the world. It'd be a marvellous place. Anyway, I do need to give the doggies their breakfast, Mittens. Be careful of Saturn, Mittens. <laughs> Seriously. Anyway, who would like their breakfast? Would you like fishy... I know that someone would like a fishy and it's satin down there. Who would like a baked potato? Anyone? Anyone? Baked potato? No? What about nice big juicy steak? Oh look at their little faces there! I can't quite even. Flour? Steak? Flour? Steak? Okay, I need to stop doing that. I can't even. Anyway, hello Luna, my little flower child. Hello Mars. I love your red colour Mars. It's so super cute. Lexi, my first little baby girly. Romeo down there. Hey Romeo, how's it going? Max, my first little boy. We've got Lola. We've got Boomer. And do you get some Boomer? There you go. And Saturn around the corner there too. Saturn. Oh, uh, Saturn? Saturn's over there! Sailor! All these names. I just get confuddled. I can't even. Is it night time or is it just bad weather? I can't understand the weather right now. Let me see if I can sleep. No, I can't sleep. Anyway, we do need to pick a doggy to take with us on today's adventure. Uh, so who would like to come with me today? Hmm, should we play the usual game that we play? We need a name for that, guys. In fact, put it down below what you think we should call our guessing game. You know, where we like wait for the dog to move. Because um, it's quite fun. I like playing it. I get a little bit excited. I'm like, ooh, I can't even stop dancing. I'm so excited to play it. Anyway, so if you haven't like seen the videos before, we do a thing where I turn around like this. And then I turn back and the first doggy to make a slight movement is the doggy who will come with me. And Mittens likes this game too. Mittens wants to play? No, Mittens has gone away. So I want you guys down below to put in the comments right now what doggy you think is going to be the doggy who's going to move first. Who do you think it is? I think, I need to be in a space where I can see them all. Uh, Mars, I need to like pop you just in the back a little bit like that. Can I see everyone now? I can now. Okay. So I think, I've got a feeling, I can only just see Mars, uh, I'll have to stand here, I have a feeling it could be, I reckon, I reckon Lexi today, I reckon Lexi would be the first one to make a movement, who do you guys think, put it in the comments right now down below and see if you win, I'm going to turn around right now and we'll give it three seconds, okay guys, so put it down below, who do you think, I think Lexi 
Right, let's go. One, two, three, go! Who's gonna move? What if you move? You're gonna move! What? Did, did, why is no one moving? Did Romeo just move? Oh, I think he did. I think Romeo is the one to move very slightly. I do believe I could be lying. I may have missed seeing that. I don't know. But Romeo, you're the one I've taken with me today. It looked like you moved. I'm sure it was you. I got a little bit distracted because no one was moving. It was weird. Anyway, Saturn, I want you as well to with me today because it's a kitty day today. So come along, my little doggies and my kitty cat too. Let's go on our lovely adventurous day. Um, so the rain is raining. <laughs> How could it not, not be rain raining? What else would the rain be doing? Hi, Grandfather Oak. You're looking so spiffing, old chap. You know what? I kind of want to put like a little bow tie on him so he's a proper chap, like a proper gentleman. Let's give him a lovely, daddy love, love petal. Ah, isn't he lovely? Romeo, do you love him? Isn't he cute? What do you think, Saturn? Do you love him too? I think I might go for a little swing. Ah, oh, this is the funnest thing in the entire universe. I wish I really could swing. Um, it's swinging in my mind, and that's as good as it's going to get. I'm going to bump my head in a minute. If you wait, you'll hear it crack. Listen. Ow! <laughs> I break my face! Can you not even? Anyway, let's get down to the cute red green patch and see which cutie I've added this week. It could be you right now watching and listening to me it could even be your friend or your neighbor i don't know who it is well i kind of do because i wrote the name but you know it could be anybody um i'm wishing this rain would stop do you guys mind if i stop the rain because it's lagging sometimes it like really lags out when you record do you guys mind Saturn? do you mind if i stop the rain Saturn likes the rain a little bit you see but it just it interferes with um recording at times weather clear stop raining Stop it. Stop the rain. Thank you so much, love sir. Ah, you little shake. Anyway, here we are. The cute red green patch and the cuties. Remember, I put an S there. S cuties that I'm adding this week is Isla and Mia. And I am adding Isla and Mia because they are very good friends of my brothers and Salem's lady. And they are also very big fans. And they are so very, very sweet little girls. And uh, they sent me and Salem a lovely card and lovely pictures and it was very so sweet and Mia is Isla's big sister and yeah it was really sweet so I want to thank you guys for the lovely letter that you sent us and Mia especially for being a lovely big sister and thanking us for that because she knew that Isla loved me and Salem so that was really cute and I'm her I heard Romeo uh, did you, are you okay I heard you like cry a little bit are you okay um so yeah I'm gonna add you guys thank you so much for all your love and support I love you guys so very much you are totally adorable and welcome to the cute red crude patch at night time look at it it's night time I really should sleep so let's go down to the peace and love garden and go and have a little nap because as usual my intros take up the entire episode and we're running out of time but it's okay because it's a fun episode this week hello little chicken it's an egg I love picking up eggs it's like the funniest thing in the world right come on in gang come on in ah I love my pets so much uh right where's peace pig peace pig pig of peace ah there's a zombie in here you don't belong in here get out of the garden of peace and love you're not peaceful you're not lovable you're not even cute now where is peace pig peace pig were you scared Peace Pig, it's okay, it's me, it's okay. You're safe now, Peace Pig. No one will ever hurt you, I promise. Oh, isn't he the cutest thing? I love it. My soul sister, Dana, says a big hello to you, Peace Pig. She's your biggest fan. She adores you. Where is Peace Chicken too? Peace Chicken. Peace Chicken. Oh, my God, there's an egg again. Egg. I love it. Peace Chicken. Peace Chicken. Where is he? There he is. He is uh, peaceful. Look at him be peaceful. Anyway, we better sleep. So I'm going to sleep in my hammock today. Uh, or tonight, so love say good night everybody, good night peace pig, good night peace chicken, good night Romeo, good night Saturn. Anyway, you guys still don't even know what we're going to do this episode. I've had a lot of people um, leave me comments, what is, we have the googly situation, I'm scared, oh my goodness, there's a really big googly, guys come out the way, come here, because that googly is a skeleton and he's going to get an arrow and stuff, where do you go, ah, go away, go away, go away, ah, Scared, scared to say, okay, spiders are good spiders in the day. They're peaceful, and that zombie has perished. Um, anyway, as I was saying, you guys have left me lots and 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 lots of comments. Very concerned about Mr. Saturn over here because Saturn is the only cat in a house full of boy dogs and girl dogs and lots of doggies. So I thought 
it's about time Saturn finally gets a friend. What do you think, Saturn, my darling? Would you like a little friend? I think he's gotten a little bit nervous. We can get you a friend. Come on, Saturn. So we're going to find ourselves another kitty cat. That is the adventure today. We don't even need to go very far. I heard a skeleton. Don't even mess with me when I have my pets on me, Skellington, because I'll just get Katniss and I'll kick your tissue. One shot, go on. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that! Have you dropped like an enchanted bow? Is it? Let me have a look. What did he drop? He did! It's got like a power on it. That's awesome. Um, anyway, so, Peace Chicken. Ah! Wait, Peace Chicken? You need to come back in, Peace Chicken. You need to get back in here. I need to get some seeds because Peace Chicken, like, if I don't put him in, then he will travel the entire universe. I'll never see him again. Peace Chicken! Can you come back in your garden, Peace Chicken, my darling? Come on now. You know that you love it in here, and I need you in here to protect the peace and love in the world. So come on, Peace Chicken. Good Peace Chicken. Good Peace Chicken. Have some num nums. There you go. Anyway, so... We need to go into the jungle over there and look for another kitty. And I do remember the last time we tried to get a kitty in that jungle, we had no luck even seeing any wild kitties. So we may need to go to the other jungle where we did get Saturn. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have some... I've got some fish on me. i got 12. That's a pretty good number. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and find a kitty cat for Saturn. And then they can have kittens! And we can have like a kitty family and it'll be wonderful. Cats are lush. Um, so yeah, we didn't even see one wild ocelot in this jungle. So I'm only going to look here for a few minutes. And if I find nothing, we're going to go to the other jungle a little bit further away. But we should still be able to get there for this episode. Um, kitty, kitty, I have fishes for you all. Kitties, where are my babies? Romeo, where's Saturn? Is Saturn coming? I can hear you, Saturn. Loves it, I do. Where's the kitty cats too? This jungle is like kitty non-existent. I don't quite understand how or why. And I am lagging a little bit. Maybe they're all rendering in. Yeah. Kitty? Yeah, kitty, 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 kitties. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitties. This is really a weird jungle, like really, if there are no cats and stuff. Is there any here? Can you see any children? Can you see any kitty cats? Kitties? I can see squid nuggets. Lots and lots of squid nuggets, but no kitty cats. Hmm, I think we probably will have more of a better luck going to the other jungle. In fact, that jungle is really cool because it's right near where we get our ponies too. So maybe it's like a special, a special jungle area, like full of animals. Maybe it's just beautiful. So yeah, let's go to that one. I think um, to get there, we just need to go through the snowy biome. Um, yeah, we should be able to get there before the end of the episode at very least and hopefully we'll get our kitty at the very end of the episode We need a kitty cat for Saturn Saturn Right, so if we come out, where are we? I'm lost! There's a sheep in a tree and everything! I can't even on the cuteness on that Right, okay, so <laughs> Excuse me, sir You look like a fireman Go away Back away Go oh, I fell in your hole I can't even Love sick Right Darling, Romeo, I keep hearing you, like, cry and stuff. Are you okay? I hope you're okay. I hope you didn't hurt yourself falling down that hole. I didn't think. Um, let's just beat the ground with some steak, as you do. Uh, right, so, where the heck you peck am I? I thought I saw my home. Um, I'm lost! Oh, no, I'm over here. Okay. So, I think, actually, I think we need to be going this way anyway. If that's the potions tower... Which, of course it is. What else is that big, gigantic building going to be? Um, yeah, that's the cute recreation patch. So we can go. If we go this way, we should end up at that new jungle. Well, it's not a new jungle. It's just a better jungle. Um, look at this ice. Can you even on the ice? I'm like, seriously, why do you ice? Why do you even? I love it. Anyway, love, 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 love. Do you remember the last time like we were on this ice and Journey got stuck in the hole and it was really hard and annoying? It was like, Journey, can you not even bless? But we got him out in the end. Bless him. You know what would be really cool too? It's having pony babies because we've got like Tinkerbell, we've got Gabriel and we've got Journey. Maybe like um, Tinkerbell and Journey could have a baby pony, a little foal. That would be quite cool because I haven't had any baby. In fact, I've never once had my very own baby pony on Minecraft. I've never done it. I don't even know what to feed them to do it. What do you feed the horses? Like, do you give them... What do you give them, actually? Put it down below, because I seriously have no Scooby-Doo clue what the heck you give to ponies to breed them. Um, anyway, Romeo, you here, baby boy? Romeo! 
There you are, good little boy. He's such a good boy. Anyway, I can see the jungle in the distance there, so we should just be able to get there and hopefully find ourselves a kitty. A kitty for poor Saturn, who's always alone. We don't want Saturn to be alone. He needs a family. And I just want another cat, because I love cats. I can't quite even. But yeah, this is where we got Saturn. Do you remember being here, Saturn? Maybe you can help us find a new friend. Where would that friend be? I think I remember where I got you. I think it was near this water pool, wasn't it? Why is that floating chicken right there? That's kind of creepy. Um, Kitty... Any kitties? What's up to squid nuggets everywhere? There's like so many squid nuggets. Um, kitty, 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 kitties. Where are they all? Have I only got one kitty in my entire world? And it's Saturn. It could well be. Who knows? Love. What's that? Oh, it's my dog in a tree. Can I rescue you? There you go. You're out. Okay. Um, Saturn, can you see anything? Romeo, have you spotted anything? He's going this way. Do you reckon there's a cat this way? Uh, no, darling, that's a cow, sweetheart. That's not a cat. A cat is C-A-T, and a cow is C-O-W, okay? Silly Romeo. He got confuddled there. Um, kitty, kitty, kitties, anyone here? There's a chicken! No chickens, Amy. We're not getting excitable about chickens today. We want a kitty cat. Hmm. Kitty, kitty, kitty. This could be like a two-part episode, because I don't like having a plan and then it never going... Like, I never get to do it. It annoys me. I'm just like, <laughs> it's in my head. I want to get a kitty, so I need to get it done. Uh, let's go up this tree. What's that? Oh, it's a pig. I see a pig in the distance. Um, Kitty? Hey, Mr. Kitty Cats. I've got fishes. And I've got the coolest cat in the world. I have Saturn. And Saturn is like a friend. Anyone want to be his friend? He's a great cat. He's so thoughtful and lovely. And he's so... Fancy, I can't quite even. Um, <gasps> oh, look, there's a kitty over there. Is that a baby kitty? Is that a little baby? Where's his mama? Hey, kitty, come here. I got some little fish if you're hungry. <gasps> what if he's an abandoned kitty? Did you guys see him or was he a ghost in my imagination? I'm sure I saw a baby kitty around here somewhere. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like sneak up. Where did he go? <gasps> look there, over there, over there. <gasps> it's a be and everything! Right, I'm gonna sneak up a little bit closer. I'm gonna sneak up a little bit closer. Ooh. I think that baby has all alone. He needs to come with us. Little tiny baby kitty. Where did you go? Little kitty? Where'd he go? Where did he go? Could anyone see him? I don't. Oh, look at that. Oh, there he is. Oh, come on. Oh, 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 don't get too excited, Amy. You'll scare him away. Okay. Shh. Oh, look, there he is. He's over there. Is he coming closer or is he going further away? Um, He's going a little bit further. We can go a little bit closer. Oh, don't scare him away too much. Where's he gone? Little kitty, I'm here to adopt you and bring you home. You're too young to be alone out here. Where did he go? Where did he go? Little tiny kitty? Hmm. This kitten is like a needle in a jungle forest. Um, little tiny kitty, I have little fishes for you. Where did he go? Saturn, can you see him? <gasps> he's over there, he's over there. Look, I see his little tail! Right, he's really like speedy. Right, I'm gonna just run up to him just a little bit. Ah, there we go, right. Where is he now? Where is he now? He's over there. I can see him. I can see the cuteness of this kitty. Right. It's getting night time as well. Um, yeah. Anyone here? Kitty cat? Kitty? Where did he go? He's like a slippery eel. Oh, he's over there again. Look. Kitty, I have fish for you, darling. Look, come here. Come here, little kitty cat. Come. He's not wanting fishy today. Look, come here. Kitty. Kitty, I have fishes. Wait, can little kittens even be tamed? Am I just wasting my time? I don't know, but I'm enjoying it. Where is he gone? Little kitty. Right, he's over there. Okay. Okay, we've got this. 